Welcome to the Vodacall Polycom end user training video. These videos are designed to show you just how simple using your new phone can be. We believe with some basic training and a little practice, this phone will be part of the best phone experience you have ever had, the Vodacall experience. Let's start with the basics, shall we? When your phone was rolled out to you, you should have received two documents, the Vodacall quick user guide for your phone and the Vodacall voicemail user guide. If you did not receive them, you can always find them at downloads.vodacall.com. Let's focus on the quick user guide for a moment. Each guide has a picture of the phone and a breakdown of the keys, as well as a step-by-step -step guide for things like holding a call, transfer, conference, accessing voicemail, and other day-to-day -day functions of using your phone. This covers all the basics for answering and moving a call around the office. These are also the things that, if not practiced, can have an effect on your customer and client experience when they are calling you. The key to your new phone are the soft keys that run along the bottom of the phone. These are the primary buttons that allow you to access a multitude of one-touch features, and they will change depending on if you're idle, if you're receiving a call, or if you're on a call. When using the VVX500, it's important to note that it is a touchscreen phone. There are no hard buttons for anything other than to activate your headset, your speakerphone, and your mute button. Your volume is also controlled here, as well as access to your menu. Everything else is done by touching the screen. If I wanted to place a new call, I could either lift the handset, begin dialing, or press new call. If by pressing new call, I will get a list of the last people that I spoke with. I can scroll through that by moving my hand up and down. The soft keys that run along the bottom of the phone will change depending on what action you are performing. In this case, we are idle. If we were receiving a call, that would change. We can then hit answer, we could forward, hit reject, or ignore. Ignore will actually move the call to a place where you can still answer it but make it stop ringing. We'll then answer it. You'll notice the soft keys have once again changed. To end the call, press end. So let's practice together, but first, let's get our mailbox set up. The steps for doing this are highlighted on the quick user guide under listening to a voicemail. First you'll press your messages button, which looks like an envelope in the upper left hand corner of your screen. The system will then ask you for a password, as it assumes you're calling from your own desk. Your default password is 123456 followed by the pound sign. You'll then be prompted to change your password. Welcome to your Compilot voice portal. Please enter your passcode, then press the Before you can use your voice portal, you must change your passcode and record your personalized name. Please enter your new passcode, then press the pound key. To go back to the previous menu, press the star key. Please choose a password between four and eight digits. In this case, we'll use 2580. Please enter your pound. new passcode again. Then, press the pound key to go back to the pre- Passcode has been changed successfully. Please start recording your personalized name after the tone. Press the pound key to end recording. Demo phone. Thank you. Your name has been recorded. If you are satisfied with your name recording, press the star key. To re you are now ready to use your voice portal. To access your voice mailbox, press 1. To record your name, press 3. To change your passcode, press 8. To exit the voice portal, press 9. To repeat this menu, press the pound key. For all intents and purposes, your mailbox is now set up. Should you want to record a personalized greeting, please press 1. There are no new or saved messages in your mailbox. To change your mailbox busy greeting, press 2. To change your mailbox no answer greeting, press 3. Then to press compose three. and send a new message. To record a new no answer greeting, press 1. To play the current greeting, press 2. To revert to the default system greeting, press 3. To go back to the previous menu, press the star key. To repeat this menu, press the pound key. Follow the prompts and record your greeting. Your mailbox is now set up, and you can make your first call. To place an internal call, either lift the handset or start dialing the extension number you are trying to call. Once it has been entered, you will hit the dial or send button. Press the green call. To end the call, press end. To make an external call, 
Start dialing the number or lift the handset and start dialing. If you've dialed the number recently, it will actually appear in the screen and you can press that to pull the call up. If you make a mistake, you can hit the back arrow and then continue to dial the call. When complete, press the green button to send the call through. To end a call, simply turn off the speakerphone, place the handset back down, or press the end call key. To place a call on hold, simply press the hold soft key. To resume that call, please press resume. To answer a call when it's coming in, you can either press the speakerphone button, lift the handset, or hit the answer key. You could also choose to reject the call or ignore the call. When you're finished, press end. To answer a second call, while on a first call, you'll notice the call come in, and it will tell you who it's from and give you the same options as well as give you a beep in your ear. To reject the call, just press reject and that call will go to voicemail. If you press answer, it will answer the second call. It places the first call on hold. You can see them both here on the screen. To toggle between them, highlight the call that you wish to talk to and hit resume. I'm now talking to the person I was speaking with first. You'll notice that they've moved to the top. The call at the top is always the call that you're on. The call below it are always the calls on hold. To toggle back between the two, highlight the call and press resume. When I'm done, end call, hit resume, and begin speaking with the other person that you were talking to. Let's talk about transferring a call. There are two ways to transfer phone calls. Blind transfer, which sends the call directly through to the other party and provides all caller ID information, or assisted transfer, where you first notify the person of who it is that they're about to speak to. First, let's start with a blind transfer. First, we answer the call. I asked to speak with Jim, so we press the transfer key. We then press blind, and we dial in the extension number and send the call through. You'll notice the call is now gone. Now we'll do an assisted transfer. Call comes in. We answer the call. We hit transfer again. Dial the extension of the person the call is for. Hit the green key to send it through. Once they answer, we tell them who the call is for. At this point, if we were on the handset, we could place the handset down and that would complete the call and transfer the party through. We can also hit the speakerphone and that will transfer the call through, or just hit the transfer key to complete the call. The other two parties are now connected. Sometimes you'll do an assisted transfer and the person will not be available to speak. Let's practice and show you what that looks like. Call comes in. We answer the call. We press transfer. Calls for Jim again, so we send it out to Jim's desk. Jim answers, but tells us that he is not available to take the phone call. At this time, what we do is hit cancel, and now we're speaking to the original party again. We could then tell them that Jim was not available and offer them voicemail. If they chose to take voicemail, we would hit more, hit the transfer to VM or transfer to voicemail key, and enter in Jim's extension. Hit enter, and send the Your call Your call has been transferred. Thank you. That call has now been transferred to voicemail. The last way to move a call through the organization is to use something called PARC. A PARC is a global hold that can be accessed from any phone in the organization. The key to parking is to park the call to the extension of the person who you're parking it for. In this particular case, call comes in. We answer that call. We're not sure where Jim is, so we hit more and we hit park. We then dial Jim's extension number and hit enter. Your call has been parked. Thank you. That call has now been parked. We can get up, go find Jim at his desk, or find him anywhere else in the organization, potentially page if we have a paging system. What we would do then is we would hit more, hit park retrieve from any phone, dial the extension number the call is parked at, hit enter, and we've now pulled that call back. To access your call log, you'll hit the icon that looks like a clock. If you have any missed calls, it will reflect a number right there. In this case, we have two. You press the call log button. If I press on the left of the number as I'm looking at it, it will complete the call to the number. If I hit the I to the right, it will pull up information on the call. 
It will show me when I placed that phone call, what time, allow me to dial it, or allow me to save it. If I hit save, it will actually show me the phone number and then give me the ability to add a last name, a contact, job title, and I can scroll through and add a whole bunch of other information on the user as well. You'll notice in the left, there's a keyboard icon. This pulls up a keyboard for me to type in any information that I want to enter. I would then hit save. And then I can click add to favorites. Bring myself back to my home screen. And that call has now been added. Now anytime I want to talk to this person, I can just click there and it will complete the call. That's a quick way to add people to your directory. You can also come up to your menu and you'll notice here that you have some icons. This is to place a call, access your mail. The open little book is your directory. If I wanted to add someone to the directory, I would click the plus sign and again, use my keyboard to enter in my information. Also, I have the ability to forward calls. Press my forward, press one for always, start entering in my phone number that I want to send my call to and click enable. You'll now notice on the main screen that toggling between the date is FWD and the phone number I have my calls forwarded to. To turn that off, rather than go back to the menu, I'll use my forward key, press one for always, press screen for disable, and I've returned that back to normal. I can also turn do not disturb on and off from the menu. Once do not disturb is on, toggling back with the date, you'll see a little phone icon with a little red dot next to it. That means your do not disturb is on. You can also turn that off from the screen without having to go through to the menu. You also have access to your settings from here. Most of your basic settings, preferences, backlight intensity, backlight timeouts, ring types, so on and so forth. From preferences, you can adjust your time and date, your headset, adjust your background, scroll through some other sizes, screen savers, that sort of thing. All personal preference items. As we look at the phone itself, you have your home screen, which as you can see by pressing twice will return you back to your main screen. Okay, you have your headset button, your speakerphone button, your mute button. Your mute will mute your handset if you're on your handset, your headset if you're on your headset, or your speakerphone if you're on your speakerphone. You also have volume buttons at the bottom of the phone that will adjust your ring volume if you're not on a call, will adjust your speakerphone volume if you're on a call, your headset volume if you're on a headset call, or your handset volume if you're on a handset call. At the bottom of the phone, you'll notice a small hole. That is the actual microphone for your speakerphone. Please be sure not to have things up against the bottom of the phone blocking that. It will lead to poor call quality. If you have a message, small red message light indicator will indicate in the upper right hand corner. Please be sure to watch this video before going live with your new phones, or just review it on occasion to make sure that you understand how things work. Thank you.